Hey guys, we're back with some more Secrets of Azeroth, and this is day two. And uh, one thing I'm just going to say before we uh, move on here is that do these day by day. Yeah, it, earlier I was like, oh, it would probably be easier just to like wait till the end and do it all in one shot. But these steps are actually a little lengthy considering how many days they are. So if you waited till the very end and did all of it, you're looking at a lot of work, honestly. Yeah, I, I personally would do either do it daily or do it like every two or three days, but definitely don't leave it to the end. I think this is gonna be a lot of work if you leave it to like doing it all in one day, which is going against what I was saying earlier. You know, I was suggesting that, but that's when I thought we were just looting like one treasure and then calling it a day, you know? <laughs> I think each each of these days, uh, each of these days are probably going to equal 20 to 30 minutes of your time. So, and there's 15 days of it. So, uh, so yeah, take that as you will, but just gonna put that out there um, okay let's get to it day two is the thinking cap so this one will start out, out in Valdraken you're gonna start right where we started on day one it's back in the inn and it's Barb or Barbie <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is what happens when I edit videos later on in the day but um, but you're gonna talk to Bobby Carlisle and you'll get the thinking cap notes. Now, your first step here is that you need to get the Thunderspine Nest shopping list. And uh, so what you're gonna do is you talk to Iragosa, who is in the Roasted Ram Inn in Valdraken, and get the shopping list. The shopping list is gonna tell you that you need Thunderspine Tenders, Apexis Asiago and latest stinkhorn. First, I went to Anarin Plains. Um, Timber Timber Step Outpost is your destination, and you have a flight path right to it, so you can fly right to that area. And right around the side of the flight path is Agarol the Butcher. And you just buy five of the Thunderspine Tenders. It's sold in five, so you don't have to, like, put in five or click five times. Click once, you'll get five. After that, I chose to fly from there to uh, Loam. And at Loam, you will get, you will be talking to Snicktack. And he has your latticed Stinkhorn, which you need five of. And then... And then at this point, because my hearth is set to the Valdraken Inn, I just hearthed and went back to Valdraken. Um, like pretty much everything else is done in Valdraken, so I'm glad I kind of did did it that way. And um, and you're gonna go to Gorgonzormu, who is in. Uh, he's at twenty nine sixty five and you're gonna buy the Apexis Asiago. Five of them again. At this point, you'll go back into the inn, talk to Aragosa, you'll say that you've got everything for the shopping list and complete that. And now you have the Thunderspine Nest and you now sharing. you are gonna go just around the corner from here at 4248 and you're going to talk to clinky cleck shatterboom and now that you have the thunderspine nest on you um clinky will get you your thought calculating apparatus so you'll notice on that that you need a downy liner and crystal ocular lenses so for the downy liner um, first you need to go kill something. So we are just going to go over to 4593, which is at the river here. And you're going to look for Hungering Tarana. 
kill them and you'll get fresh Tirana and it's 100% chance so like y you'll just get it yeah and once you have that you're gonna go over to 42 49 go to Griffin who is right by where Clinky was and talk to him you'll get the downy liner and then your next step is to get the crystal ocular lenses now there's kind of two ways you can do this. So um, first, you're going to Shaky Flatlap, who is in Valdraken 3861. And you have two options. I chose the easier option. So in the dialogue, you can see that paying a thousand gold is an option. If you pay the 1000 gold, you're just done, right? So it depends how much you value gold, but the this is this is wow 18 years later gold is not even tough <laughs> you know a thousand gold means absolutely nothing so so that's why i chose but if you're looking to save some gold you can get it for cheaper and you can go into the secret inn in valdraken and you just pay 346 gold personally i found it easier to just pay the 1000 but totally up to you once you do that you'll have your crystal ocular lenses and at this point you can open up your bags you'll have an item called thought calculating apparatus just click that because you have your two items now and um and that's gonna pop up a quest for you the unfinished thinking cap and you'll go to Fangli Hoot, who is over in 2654, but it should be on your map because, you know, you just triggered a quest. And turn in the quest, and that'll get you the tricked out thinking cap, which is a toy. So now you can just learn your toy and then actually click the toy to equip it so that you have a buff on you. Doing this actually puts like coordinates on on the buff. I found it easier just to look at my normal coordinate add-on though. Uh, but you can, you, you do have that as a guide. And now you're on like a hunt, more or less. So there's gonna be these arrows kind of guiding you when you see the arrows, you click them. So your first one that you're doing is gonna be at 9.56, which is Lil Scale's daycare, and just at the bottom of this bookshelf, you see the arrow, just click it. And then we're going over to Artisan's Market, 29.62, which is where the skinning banner is. You'll see another arrow, click that. And then at the Jewel, jewel Crafting Station, 39.64, uh, it's on a barrel, so you can just click that. And you're going to the Alchemy Crafting Station, which is 3671. Click your arrow. Uh, next place is the Auction House. So just fly over to the Auction House and then fly to the top of the Auction House and you'll see the arrow. And you just click that. And then next we're going to go to the Blacksmith Building and you'll you'll see it these were super easy some of them i spotted like before i even got there i could just see them in the distance and then your next one is seat of aspects and you're just gonna go up the stairs and then there's like those two um two bonfires like on the way in uh one of them has an arrow uh on it so click that and then our last destination is the Emerald Enclave, uh, which is uh, at the waterfalls, and you'll you'll see it. There's uh, there's an arrow there, and then there's also a thing to loot. Um, I looted before I clicked the arrow, so you can just loot your treasure. So that is everything for day two. So you're looking at a 30 minute day. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow for day three. Bye guys. Well, Have a good one. Interesting.